Now I would like to tie for you a granum pupa. This is the fly I was using during the granum pupa hatch. I have a Tiemco 2457. It is a size 14 in the vise. I have the barb crimped down. And the thread I'm using is black 6 op 70 denier thread. And I am running the thread down the back and I'm going to go around the bend slightly. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to turn my hook slightly so I can dub the thread without my fingers getting in the way. The dubbing I'm using is a dark brown crystal dub and it is a hair blend uh, crystal dub hair blend dubbing I think the crystals are good for helping imitate air bubbles of the caddis rising to the surface And just a slight bit more. I need maybe two more wraps of it. One, two, okay, there we go. And I got a long hair right in the front, so I'll get rid of that. And now I'm going to use wood duck flank, and I'm going to take this section here. And yeah, there's about ten barbels on there. And I'm going to tie them over the back the end as the antenna trailing in back as it's emerging. And I'm going to remove the excess up front. Tidy that up a bit. And now I'm going to take what I use for the wings is this Swiss straw and I take the Swiss straw and it's just a bunch of uh, layers of the plastic all layered on top of each other so I took it and I uh, stripped away some till I get the right size and color that I want. I'm going to take it and I'm going to tie it in on the side and slightly facing down and I'm going to fold it over the top and bring it towards my side there we go I caught it now and tie off the head it's a very simple fly and it's pretty effective. Now I'm going to whip finish right at this point before I cut the long piece of uh, straw away. And I also tie these with the garbage bag. So this is another of my garbage bag series. Tighten that up. Trim away that thread. Put a drop of head cement on there. I think also the this uh, using this material, using the garbage bag or the Swiss straw, I think it also helps represent the air bubble coming up. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim this side at, and you want to trim it at a slight angle. And you can see how, the way I cut it. And this side I could probably trim the other side just a bit more. There we go. 
leave those wild ones on the back. We got one up front. And I'll take that off. That's good. This fly was very effective for me during the uh, granum hatch when they were taking uh, the flies just under the surface. I also used the GSS Emerger with fantastic success, but the one day I didn't have any more GSS Emergers on me, and I used this, and I did very very well hope that you learned something from this video hope that you would subscribe to my channel please leave comments questions suggestions and most of all I thank you very much for watching my videos